What do you mean by a Chokrasky or the C Z technique? Well, my name is Rishi Ranju and welcome to the Backwards Engineering community where I make a training easy for you. So, let us ask the obvious question. What do you mean by the C Z or the Chokrasky technique? Well, let's find out. So, the Chokrasky technique or the C Z technique, it is basically a technique that is used for the purpose of growing silicon crystals and it is with the help of these silicon crystals we create silicon wafers so for us to create a particular silicon wafer we need silicon crystals so in order to grow these silicon crystals we use the chokralski or the cz technique so this cz technique it involves the solidification of atoms from a particular liquid phase and this solidification happens at a particular interface this simply means that the silicon crystals that we obtain we get it by the process of solidification of a particular liquid at a particular interface let me make that even more simpler for you so for this let us now construct the apparatus required to produce silicon crystals using the chokralski technique so for that first let us construct the furnace so the main component of the furnace is a particular graphite susceptor like this we have a graphite susceptor and this graphite susceptor is used to support a fused silica crucible like this now it is inside this few silica crucible that we now pour silicon crystals so before going there let us see the other components of this particular furnace so here this particular graphite susceptor it is connected to a particular pedestal over here like this and the shaft of this particular pedestal is now connected to a particular motor this is connected to a motor so that we obtain a rotation like this we obtain a rotation like this so in order to rotate this particular furnace we now connect this particular shaft to a particular motor and now in order to provide heat or for the purpose of heating this entire apparatus rf coils are placed around this that is we provide resistive heating to the entire apparatus with the help of rf coils so this now forms the entire furnace setup that we use for the purpose of creating the silicon crystals using the chokralski technique now what we do is that we now take polycrystalline silicon and we place it over here like this we take a lot of polycrystalline silicon and we place it here and after placing it here what we do is that with the help of these rf coils we now provide heat to the entire setup we now heat this polycrystalline silicon and now once heat is provided after a particular period of time we observe that this particular polycrystalline silicon will start melting this will start melting so once this starts melting here we have another thing known as a particular seed holder we have something known as the seed holder and now with the help of this seed holder we now attach it to a particular seed like this and now what we do is that this entire setup that is this with the help of this seed holder we have a particular seed some suitable crystal is placed here as a seed now what we do is that we now dip this entire setup onto this particular mold or this particular molten silicon over here we dip this here and now once we have dipped this here what we do is that we now slowly take it up or we now slowly start pulling it up like this so that is once we start pulling it up we observe that we get something like this where here at this particular portion when we slowly pull it up here freezing occurs at the solid liquid interface and here we get the required silicon crystal so here this is molten form and this is a solid form and now here with the help of this seed holder it is again pull 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 pull, pull towards the top and here because of freezing we get 
a long silicon crystal with the help of all this mold. This simply is how you create silicon crystals with the help of Chokralski technique. So here, what we observe is that when a number of polycrystalline silicon crystals are taken, it was then melted using a particular heat supply and all these single polycrystalline silicon is now converted into a single silicon crystal like this. This is basically why we use the Chokralski technique. So here, while this particular seed is pulled up with the seed holder, with the help of this rotation mechanism, it is rotated like this, so that we get a uniform crystal over here in all the particular dimensions. So while this particular seed is being pulled consecutively, this particular furnace is also rotated with the help of this particular motor and thereby obtaining a particular solid silicon crystal. This thus is the basic working of what you refer to as a Chokralski technique. As simple as that guys. So let us now write down the functionality of each of these components separately. So I have written it down. First we have a particular furnace. So inside the furnace we have a fused silica crucible that contains a molten silicon. Then we have a graphite susceptor which now is used to support this particular silicon crucible. Then we have a rotation mechanism in order to provide a rotation to the entire furnace. Here the susceptor, this particular graphite susceptor is placed on a pedestal whose shaft is connected to a particular rotating motor and finally we have the heating element for which we use RF coils that provide heating. Then we have the crystal pulling mechanism. We have the crystal pulling mechanism to control the pulling rate and the crystal rotation. The seed crystal is continuously pulled up and is rotated to meet proper growth of the particular seed. Then we have an ambient control element. This includes an inert gas source that provides an inert gas to provide a particular atmosphere and a flow control and an exhaust system. That is, which controls the flow of this particular inert gas and the exhaust of this particular inert gas. Finally, it has a control system in order to control certain parameters like the temperature, pull rate, rotation speed, etc. So now, uh, that is a particular note. So, in the process of Chokralski technique, while we slowly pull up this particular seed and while this particular silicon crystal is being formed, here, in this process, while freezing occurs at the solid-liquid interface, the silicon crystal that is formed is what you refer to as an ingot. Here, the two ends of this particular ingot are called the seed and the tongue. So now, once this crystal is fully grown, we now have to remove the seed that we took with a particular circular saw. And once we remove it with a particular circular saw, then the surface must now be grinded so as to make it really smooth. Once the surface is grinded, then this particular ingot is now sliced into different wafers with the help of diamond saw. This does is simply what you refer to as the Chokralski technique which is used for the purpose of creating silicon crystals. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So, I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as the Chokralski technique for the purpose of creating silicon crystals. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos, so stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.